It looks like they might have just brought out some more art because the cart is here with art on it. These are nice. Four ninety nine. Hmm. And then the larger one is nine ninety nine, and there are three larger ones. These birds are really nice with the bamboo frames. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna get them. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. I'm gonna see if I can make lightning strike twice. The last time I was at this store, I found a terrine worth over $100 for only $15. So let's see if we can do it again. The goal is under 20 for over 100. It's possible, especially if you set your mind to it. So we're fine tuning our, our focus and we're gonna get in there and get shop done. But you know the first thing we have to do, the very first thing, is pick out our lucky cart. Hmm, this side did well for me last time. Let's go with that one. And gray is our new color. So we have a clue as to what's going on these shelves. Ornaments, lights, garland, and wreaths. Welcome to the Christmas season. All right, I guess we're digging into the Christmas side first. Microwave safe. Well, that's good. It means it doesn't have lead in it. The White Barn Candle Company. Oh, those are cute. Who makes you? Fairfield Fine China. It's a whole set of little Christmas dishes. And little sisal animals. Oh, these are yellow tagged. So apparently they're going to be buying and stocking these now. <gasps> Look at the little cardinal. Oh, he's awful cute. Okay, let's keep going. Bear birds. Oh, he's a snowman. There's no bear and no birds in there. Just a snowman. Look at this decanter. It's got Santa Claus on it. I think it's just like a sticker that somebody put on. No, that's uh, really, really on there. It makes you. Just says hand wash. Huh. Huh. I don't think it's old or anything. Oh, this would be the gift box section. Pretty sure these are not gift boxes, but what do I know? Oh, that's a bummer again. I'm always buying stuff from a little fairy garden. But he's missing a wing. Now this, I happen to know, comes with a little cover on because I have one of these and I love it. And I'm going to put this in the cart and see if I can find the little dome that goes on top of it as well. Wrapping paper. Gift bags. Oh, we're getting a little sneak peek of what's going to be on the shelves. Oh my. Oh, that's plastic. I was going to say, if that was pottery, that would be pretty crazy. Oh, yep, still clearancing. Speaking of clearancing, we are going to be running one heck of a Black Friday sale at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. So if you are in the Las Vegas area around Thanksgiving, you want to mark your calendar and come by on that Friday after Thanksgiving. I think we might even open a little bit early, but we do open at 10. Maybe a little bit early. I haven't decided yet. Got to check with all my employees, but it's gonna be a zinger. I'm looking at this little box and trying to decide if that damage can be overcome. I mean, 99 cents is a pretty darn good price, but it's quite damaged. Little trinket for $4.99. It's cute, probably worth about 10 bucks. Actually, I have regrets as I'm editing this video this potentially uh, could have been Limoges. And if it was Limoges, it could have been worth as much as $50, $60. So, 
Sometimes we pass stuff by that maybe we shouldn't, but yep, lesson learned. And then squirrel. WCL is six ninety nine. It's got a, quite a bit of glaze chipping going. Still got the precious moments. And let's see what else. We're trying to keep our eyes really focused on higher end items. These old glass paperweights are pretty good sellers, but I don't quite understand what the scene is here. Gloucester Docks. Not sure how desirable that is. Probably again, like a $10 or so piece, so we're gonna leave it. Let's see what else we've got new on the shelves. We're liable to see a lot of the stuff that was here before, but that's okay. Ooh, that is cut crystal. $10. Yes, I expect so. Do you have a name etched on there somewhere? Sometimes those little acid etches are really hard to spot. You got to turn the item all different angles with the lighting sometimes to see. I don't see anything. They're nice, but I just don't think it's worth $20 for me to pick up and sell because they're probably worth about $25 to $30. I did pull kind of stained glass Santa lamp out of there. He's only $3.99. Probably just needs a battery. We'll grab him. And then let's see what else. This is kind of interesting for $3.99. Oh, that does look like it's got some age on it. That is a mark that's faded off. I don't know. I don't have a lot of time for doing research because I'm getting ready to go away on a little much needed retreat. So I'm trying to keep my life simple before I go. Let's see. Made in Philippines. It's kind of cool. It was $10. Oh, look at this little pewter piece. That's really sweet. It looks like Betsy Clark. Little gallery, fine pewter. Hallmark. I'm pretty sure that is Betsy Clark. Yeah. I'd rather pay a little less than $3.99, but um, I like her. I'm going to get her. Um, let's see. What is that? I'm not sure what that purpose of that item is. So we will leave that. Oh, that's a good looking candle holder right there. It is painted though. It's not the color of the glass. That's unfortunate. It looked nice from a distance, but I would prefer it be the color of the glass. Like that one also looks not quite quality enough. So we'll leave that one too. And we will keep searching. This little planter is actually made in Italy. I don't, oh, it's only $2.99. Yes, we will grab that. All right, we had to skip down a couple rows because the store's really hopping right now. So we had to find a row without a ton of people in it. That's kind of cool. It's $5.99. I just don't know what I would do with it. I'm sure somebody out there can tell me what they would do with it. And I always love to hear that because then it like sets my brain in motion. Ooh, this guy is half price and I love it. It's only $3. Let's grab that. Look down here. There's a mirror that's kind of interesting. Little fleur-de-lis on both sides. It's not bad quality either. It is 10 bucks. Hmm. All right. I think I'm going to leave it. It's not really shippable. And we will keep on going. Their speaker is particularly loud today, so I'm going to have to keep talking right over that so that the YouTube bots don't hear the music and they focus on the sound of my voice. We are going to go down the wood section here and see what we've got. These are some nice homemade bookends, but they're very lightweight, which is a little 
problematic when you are doing books. I get it. You put a book here and it kind of holds it. Those are nice, but they are priced each. $4 each. So we're going to leave those and keep looking. All right. What is on this shelf? Oh, that's one of those little, maybe like floating shelves. It's a kind of a different one. Ikea. This has a name on it. Meritage. Acacia wood. That's kind of nice. Oh, it's got a it's got a ring on there from something being left on it, and I don't know if that would come out. That's it's too bad because it's still got its tag, and yet you'd have to sell that as used. I do love these little cork dioramas. This one has quite a bit of detail, including the little storks in there. It is $6.99 though. Oof, it's kind of a hefty price for the condition. So I'm sadly going to have to leave it, but these do sell pretty well. Tabletop pool table. We definitely don't need that because we have a full pool table. It definitely needs to get a bit more use. We have not been using our pool table very much. So it's on the list of things. When I get back from this trip, that's what I have to do first. I have to do this trip. I've been preparing for this trip. And then when I get back, we'll do some things. This is cute. Is this like for growing herbs or something? What is that? Homegrown cedar products. Because it's got the little like, or is it? Is it a bird feeder? <gasps> That's a bird feeder. And if it's not a bird feeder, it could be a bird feeder. So I'm gonna grab it. Again, very funny, very clever. I think, did I see these? No, these just came out. Unfortunately, I've seen several of these types of boxes and the Vegas dryness just gets to this wood stuff. I don't know how hard that would be to... No, it shrunk. It shrunk. That's too bad. Otherwise, those would have been really, really nice. That's a nice box. Let's look at that one. Which side do you open on? This side. Ooh. You don't open easy. There we go. Okay, you're not lined. It looks older. Look at the hinges. That's how you can tell on the age of some of these things. So it's, that's an old hinge and it's got a nice look to it. $4.99. You know what? I think we'll pick that one up. All right, let's look down here. See if there's anything exciting. And I'm going to say nope. I love this. It is fake. It is fabulous. And it is $5.99. Uh, that one, that one's a personal keeper right there. But we're going to see what we've got else on the uh, fakery shelves here that might be worth selling. We just planted some things and oh, now, now there's a big pot. We just planted some things in the front yard and we had to buy some pots to do so. I do like this. I like the color. $12.99 not bad. I know how much these things cost now. Do I want this one? I think I do. Look at their little, little pants. It's resin. It says it's made in Japan though. That's interesting. Rubies or Rubens? I don't know. It is vintage. Kind of nice. see what we've got over here. That's pretty. Painted by Ray Lashley, 93. Oh, it's $2.50. It's a wine cooler. Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's see what else is out here. That's an interesting vase. Wow, it's got some weight to it. Kind of like it, but a little too heavy to deal with today. Oh, what is this? Oh. oh, he looks like that Mark Roberts stuff. It's 
It's got an interesting face. How much are you? You're $5.99. I think I'm going to leave him, but let's put him right here so somebody can find him. He's, he's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. It looks like they're kind of color blocking the vases. We've got the white and gray section here. I see butterflies that I have to take a peek at. It is an FTD for $3.00. Not quite special enough, but this is a cutie. Who makes you essential home? Probably just came from like Target. Man, that's so cute though. I feel like Jordan would even like this one. It's a buck ninety-nine. I'm gonna grab it. And we'll look through the clear vases for anything interesting and special. This has a neat look to it. It's part frosted. It's kind of on the heavy side. I feel like it would clean up really nice it's two dollars and fifty cents what is wrong with it i don't see why it has not oh right there it's broken darn it all right they've got their bowls up close and personal now i think all the stores have kind of moved things around that's an interesting vase but it's chipped and broken that's too bad let's look who makes this beautiful chop plate under here it is daisy by baker hart stewart it's only a dollar are you kidding me right now ah that's going in the cart because the other thing that i will be doing is loading up my stage area at the good stuff thrift store before the big Black Friday sale. This is vintage. Cute little... I believe Pyrex makes those. Um, yeah, I'm going to load it up. A lot of stuff like that plate and other things that I really don't want to ship. I mean, I can ship anything. But I don't like shipping big things. They're time consuming. They take a lot of materials. So I try not to sell larger items online that require all of that. Who makes you? I can't read it. Hmm. It's interesting. It's an interesting pattern. It's very pretty. We're gonna leave it and look at a buffalo from Wyoming. Oh wow, he's really awesome. It's three dollar buffalo. I don't know, do I have enough Wyoming people that would love this buffalo? I kind of feel like I might. I'm gonna grab him. All right, let's keep looking. That's a cute J and G Meekin, but it's $8. Just, just can't be $8 on a teacup and saucer. Most really don't bring more than like $15 to $20 nowadays. There are some still that are good but generally speaking oh but you know what let's put it let's put it with its friend over here so it can stay together i'm rounding the corner and i find these little they're like pottery eggs and they appear to be hand painted and they're only two dollars and fifty cents because they're half price i'm gonna grab those all right we will peruse the plastic I have been finding some good melamine items. Thank you. And then we've got mugs. <laughs> God helps those who help themselves. That's really sweet. Cute little coffee mug by Walt Lee. Sherman on the Mount. That's definitely vintage. Oh, it's got one of those. Ugh, it's got a Roman numeral date. Stand by. I think it's 80 something. 1980s. How much are you? You're 99 cents. All right, we're going to get it. I am always asked if I pick up Royals stuff. The problem is most of it is priced pretty up there, like $7 um, for this little cup of Princess Di and Prince Charles, who's now the king, but it's Stoke-on-Trent ASL. I just don't know if it has the value to pick up for 7 and we got a lot of matching mugs down here. Who makes all these? They are 
They are Ambrosia hand painted collection. Someone had a lot of them and then they donated them. Oh, you know, these are a weakness of mine. There's two green and two blue. They are $3 each. They're not worth a ton of money. They're just cool. I am going to leave those. I'm going to leave those at $3 each. If they're still here in a couple of weeks, I may pick those up. Same with these. I believe these are Pier 1, the swirls, and they do sell well. Uh, but I'm going to leave those at $3 a piece too. All right, let's keep looking. Anything special? These are vintage. Uh, they, again, don't sell for a whole lot. They got rabbits, cowgirls, cowboys, desert rats, and four ounces is for, yes, you see it. It's only 99 cents. I think, I think Federal Glass makes these. I think I actually see the little, no, it's Anchor Hawking. No, wait. Or Hazel Atlas. Hazel Atlas is the H-A. Hazel Atlas. For 99 cents, I think I will pick it up. Oh, look at this ice bucket treasure map ice bucket $7.99 that's kind of cool actually it's it's really cool I'm gonna grab that and on this side there are some big margarita glasses with the rigory swirls those are kind of cool those are five dollars each they are nice Canyon Gate Country Club Mm, this is one of those uh, like Beauty and the Beast kind of roses. See the petals falling off. It's only $3.99. As I recall, these do quite well. I'm going to pick that up. That looks like Lennox. Let us see. Yep, it sure is. It's Woodland Vase by Lennox. It is $7. There is a little, like a pockmark right here, like a defect. I think that's yeah that's oh no wait look look at that huh. it wasn't it was just something stuck to it seven dollars i think we'll get it this piece caught my eye it is not a silver overlay it fooled me i think it's newer hmm made to look old vintage inspired if you will but we're gonna leave that one there is so much on these shelves. That's some nice crystal. Wow, that is a substantial measuring cup. It is the season to be selling baking items. People are thinking about starting those ovens up. This plate caught my eye. I like the color Segovia. Royulo? Roy it's interesting. I don't think it has a lot of resale value, but it is interesting. That looks like a very dishwasher little Pyrex yellow bowl. It is $4.99. That's unfortunate. Don't put your Pyrex in the dishwasher because that's what happens. These are carnival glass, but they're newer carnival glass. They got like a shine to them. It's not the type that I pick up. And I gotta peek. What is underneath here? I see a starfish shape. Oh, there we go. There we go. Who makes you out of curiosity? Oh my goodness. Stand by. It is Shoreline Collection Home Studio. Again, probably like a Walmart or Target brand. $10. It's really cool though. I use my treasure craft ones or I would be all about that. Inside this box is a very, very heavy crystal bowl. Wow, it is definitely lead crystal. Let's see what the little tag on the side says. It says Rainier 9 inch bowl Mikasa. Oh, it's a Mikasa. And let's see, cute little 
ducky cookie jar, but he is not even vintage, it looks like. He's pretty contemporary. I don't see all of those Precious Moments spice jars that were here a couple of videos back. Um, but there's like one little lone one, poor thing. Yeah, still priced at $7.99. I can't imagine that anybody bought those. This tray is really beautiful, but oh my gosh, look at it, it's got feet. It's $20. I'm gonna need both hands to turn that over and take a peek. I, uh, I know I'm upside down. I'm not gonna flip it over um, just because it's so big and heavy. It's beautiful, but it also says not for food purpose, which tells me it's got lead paint in it. Oh my goodness, look at the kitchen diva pig again. She does not have much age on her. Oh goodness, what do we need from this shelf? Oh, okay, I picked one of these up before and you guys said, oh gosh, did you say caviar? I think you said it's like a little caviar. And But now I'm trying to remember, did somebody say get it, get it? Or not? I don't remember. Goodness, you know what? Better safe than sorry. I'm gonna grab it for $4.99. I see some cute little corning wear under here with the dove pattern. It's not a pattern I see very often. These are $3.99 each. I just don't know how much they sell for. Probably not a whole lot, but uh, uh, you know what? They would be great little foundations for my project. So I'm gonna get them either way. I spotted something under here that I want to dig out. Because if that is Sidden Striker, that could be quite a find. So it is fused glass, and we're looking for a name. Let's see, is it signed? I don't think so. It's not giving me the quality vibes. Not not that high of quality that's that's too bad that would have been a cool find no signature and i'm looking i'm looking close it's also got some imperfections that i just don't think would be there if it was a quality piece all right we are in their cookware section that is really really stuffed full my goodness and then small appliances. I always skim, always skim everything because you just never know what got stuck in between things on a wrong shelf, but not tonight. Let's see what office supplies might entice us. Don't really need too much right now. But again, gotta look at everything. Some of these old tequila bottles can be worth some money. That one doesn't seem to have a name. It's just like a generic tequila bottle and they want $10 for it. So we'll leave it. This is a store that I do tend to find some pretty good art in. Oh, look at the macrame kind of hanging thing there. I'm trying to figure out if it's old or if it's just vintage inspired so I'm feeling the material and this just feels cheap it's not the good quality old stuff so I think that is a reproduction all right so we'll keep looking a little bit in the art Marcus Uzilevsky generally gallery prints and what I mean by that is if you see a painting or a print not a painting a print that's got like a name or a gallery. Those are called gallery prints. Generally not worth as much as a print that is not a gallery print. How fun and beautiful is that? Wow, I love that. I think it's the colors drawing me. Goodness, it's $12.99. I really have no place to put that. As much as I love it, I'm gonna have to let it go. It looks like they might have just brought out some more art because the cart is here with art on it. These are nice. $4.99. Hmm. 
And then the larger one is $9.99. And there are three larger ones. I'm like looking at the framing, like this probably came out of somebody's home as a grouping. That's not signed that I can see. These birds are really nice with the bamboo frames. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna get them. And this is really nice too. It's only 99 cents. I think it's somebody's little project piece. Again, I do love the colors. Shall we call this one Joy? We will fish through the small art just a little bit. Somebody's metal. What are these? Just little cute little little signs. Four count of signs for the laundry room. That's a nice frame. Donna and Child. Hmm. Tweety Town. What is this? What is Tweety Town? Tweety Town, Fiji, where life is incredibly tweet. And there's little fur. Oh, it's only a dollar fifty. Yep, getting it. Ooh, that. Wait, it's missing. It's missing, like all of its pieces and parts. It is made in Italy. Darn it, that's beautiful. Is it here somewhere? I don't, I don't think so. And I don't know what I would do with just, just this part of this frame. Mmm. I don't know. It's, it's pretty nice. You know what? The fact that it's not priced tells me the other piece might be here somewhere. I'm going to dig a little. Any interesting lamps? Hmm. Nothing real eye-catching today. Oh, here. This is the one that was here last time. A little more up close and personal. It's just a little bizarre. This would have been a really nice baker's rack, but it is. I don't know if it's just not done or what the story is now that I look at it, it. I don't know, it looks like a project piece and it just didn't go quite right, but I like I like where they were going with it, but it's just not quite in good enough shape. And let's see if the pillows have anything exciting tonight. Mm, nothing, nothing Colin. Check out this adorable Vera Bradley I found. It needs a little cleanup. It's not perfect, but it is gray tag, half price. So it's six fifty, dollars and the print is really adorable. So we're gonna grab that. And this one caught my eye. Look at the little wood beads. And this is like that, what is that, raffia paper? Is that one and the same thing? I don't know, it's a very papery feeling, very lightweight. It does have a name. It is a, it is a, I know, I saw a name. Where is it? Where is it? Chateau. And it's probably made in China. Oh, it's 100% paper. I was right. It does feel like paper, but it's only $2.99. I'm going to get that too. And then this one caught my eye with the little Paris print. And it's only $4.99. It says Royal on the zipper fob there. Are you clean? Oh gosh, it's got, it's dirty and it's got damage. That's too bad because that was, that was really cute. But no, we have to leave that one. Take a peek at this one. Who makes you with all your boho macrame -ness. There's no name in this one. It is 10 bucks. I think we'll leave that one. Maybe it'll still be here on the next half price day. 
Wow, that's very, very purple. But I think that's gonna do it for us. All right, we have made it to the jewelry counter. Again, there's a line, so I won't get help for a few minutes. So I'm perusing through. I wanna look at that necklace, that cuff. Let's see, what else did I see interesting in here? That's, no, that's no. Um, that's kind of interesting, but I'm not sure if it's real stone. So we put, that's quite the statement piece right there but it's just like a fashion piece. I can see it still has its original tag on it. Nothing too exciting. And then I think I saw a pair of earrings up here. There's little like intaglio earrings that I'm gonna pull out and look at too, as soon as we get a chance. As I'm waiting, I'm looking in here some more and I spot those, but I don't know how much they are. So we're gonna have to pull those out too. All right, oh, they got some weight to them. They're tarnishing too. Oh, they're great tags, so they're only four bucks. Okay, we are definitely gonna take those. Pull this out too, it's just cute. It has a very Betsy Johnson look to it. Look at a lot of her stuff. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of it out there. Uh -huh. It's $4.99. I feel like that's cute enough to pay $4.99 for. This is interesting. It kind of looks like it would match a necklace that I have. Oh, it's got a it's got a little leaf tag. Hmm. It's interesting. It's three dollars. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go for it. And here's the little glass intaglio. They have little flowers. They are five bucks. Do I like them for five bucks? They don't have backs. I feel like these are older. I'm gonna get those too. All right, this is not real stone. Oh yeah, yeah. Stone, yeah, it's it's simulated. It's pretty, but we're gonna put that one back. So I pulled out these little dragonflies, and they are 1928 is the brand, which is a good brand. So we're gonna get both of those for 4.99 each, and then this. This is very interesting. It almost looks like it's meant to be a belt versus a necklace. It's got all of these little, little they're not coins, they're just little medallions with Asian symbols. I don't even know where, oh, there's the clasp, there's the clasp. It could be for a belly dancer. It's pretty extravagant, but it is 15, so we'll put that one back. I had her pull out this really cool Dooney and Burke. It's got some weight to it. It's quality. I think this is the real thing. They are asking 30 red tags. So there's ooh, no discount. That is a heavy little fob there. Oh my goodness. It's nice, but I think we're going to pass on that one. All right. We got everything that we're getting. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now.